Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and the Luck of the Irish achievement that we are on the cusp of completing. Maybe not on the cusp. We are on the fringe of completing. I think we are definitely going to complete it. It's just a matter of... Um, well, I mean, we got to start the war first before we can finish it. Uh, if you notice, right at the tail end of the last video, I did complete a, uh, a colony, did finish growing. I could start a new one, but we're only making five ducats a month. And once we go to war, we are going to be dealing with, um, we're going to be dealing with having to reinforce, and that's going to cost us some money. So I'm just going to send colonists to the colonies I already have, but I'm not going to start new colonies. I just, the money is going to be more important to me uh, right now. The other thing that I had mentioned and then didn't do is I said I could build another army of 10. And I'm going to do that. Two, three, four, five, six. So I do it with six infantry, two cavalry, and two um, artillery. England accepted peace with Sweden. Oh, I don't know if you heard that. Did some laundry yesterday and did a load today as well. So that's my dryer letting me know my laundry's done. Deal with that in a second. Okay, come on. Need the money. Give me the money. I suppose I don't... I've got... Until this unit is done, so I've got some time to get it built. Um, with this last stack of 10 soldiers, we're probably going to... Well, maybe not probably, but we will be making less money, possibly close to losing money. But uh, I'm not—I'm really not worried about it. We have no loans, and we have a lot of earning potential. If we turn our army maintenance down to zero, we're kind of swimming in cash, we're very flush. So we're gonna take the big stack here, move them over there. All these ones can come over here. Okay, good, good. I'm going to ship some guys over as well. Uh, I do have fleet basing rights in Scotland, and I do have uh, army, whatchamacallit, military access from Scotland. So we'll be able to kind of move troops over there. The colony became self-sustaining. Good. So now we don't have to worry. We should be making at least four ducats a month. Good. The next one finishes. We'll bump up to six ducats a month. Roughly costs about two ducats a month income to uh, run a colony when you have a colonist so seven eight one more cavalry and one more artillery artillery is going to take a few days i'm not necessarily going to wait for it let's go ahead transport fleet um these two groups these two um stacks will move into ayrshire all right sure you want to we'll fight some rebels for you scotland why not? And uh, these two stacks will move into Ayrshire as well. Simply because I'm going to move two over to Lothian. Two of those stacks over to Lothian. Because I noticed they've got a stack sitting right here of 37 and a stack sitting right here of 14. Uh, and then... Actually, let's go ahead. I'm actually just going to stick... All of them, this last stack, I'll put up in uh, the Western Isles, ready to prepare, are prepared to attack the Highlands. But everyone else, you know, come right here. Everyone else, I'm going to put kind of on the on uh, on the territories bordering England's large forces. And I think who is that? 37 and 14. So that's what 50, 51. It's going to be the bulk of their military, I think. They may have a little bit more than that, but no, that's it. That is their entire military. You guys might as well go to Ulster. That's where that uh, last artillery piece is going to be made anyway. Okay, group up. And then it's going to be a question of, I'm going to try and find out where the British fleet is. I know they have some medium ships there, but I'm going to look and see if I can find out where the bulk of their heavy ships are. And then set myself kind of ideally in the exact same tile as theirs when we declare war. 
because that's going to mean that we'll just wipe out their fleet right away. Oh, and I think there it is. 16 heavy ships. And that's probably the bulk of their navy. They had like 20 some, right? They have 20. And there's 16 of them. There we go. Board. Drop them off. Okay. Um, where did that fleet go? England, where's your fleet? It's in here. Let's go to Dingle Bay. You left. Where did you leave to? Down here. Now I can't see you down here. Are you going out somewhere or are you sitting there? No, you're going to the coast of Morocco. You're coming here. Okay, excellent. Once you get there, where are you going to go? Straight, straight of Gibraltar, Gulf of Cadiz. You're going to the Gulf of Cadiz. So you are coming to me. My maintenance is up. My allies are ready to go. They are. You will be there on the 16th. 15, 16. No, you're still not. Now you'll be there on the 21st. Okay, fine. 15, 20, 21st. Your fleet has arrived. Ready to just get decimated. Okay. All of our troops are reinforced. I have 60, 70,000 troops ready to go against their 51,000. I have lots of allies ready to help me declare war. Yeah, and we got attacked in the Gulf of Cadiz, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Newfoundland's honoring alliances. So let's go ahead and march on Newfoundland as planned. Okay, and uh, yeah. Hey, look at that, they are kind of doing a number to my fleet. They've honored the alliance, they've honored the alliance, they've, these all my allies have honored. So I might get reinforced here. Uh, I probably, instead of just sitting there watching that, I should probably... And then these guys, this is one thing I don't understand, like, I have access here. Why am I exiled in a place that I have access to? That makes no sense to me. If I move here, will I still be exiled? Are these guys exiled? See, these guys aren't exiled. Why are these guys exiled? There's more navies under attack. Oh, I forgot that I was on speed one still. Our fleet armies have arrived, and they are. They are still exiled. So, exiled armies aren't going to be able to do a darn thing for me. Until I get my navy back. Well, that's... I'm very disappointed in you, Paradox. That's kind of a stupid rule. They're down to 11 heavy ships here. 7, 5. We're laying siege and looting. You're still going. I bet you're just going to take forever to get there. Actually, if I dispatch a siege force... Ooh. No, I'm just going to sit here. Sit here until that's uh, been been taken. I'm surprised, England, if you were smart, you would just advance here. I'm very, very disappointed by this. I'm really tied up here. This is very much a not an ideal situation. And there we go. We won that battle. Excellent. So let's go ahead in here. Where we can liberate our... Bring our troops home. Okay. Yeah, very disappointed in how this kind of worked out. We've liberated Lothian for our Scottish friends. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to do this real quickly. You guys come back. You board. 
and then you go back and then come up here and pick up this guy come down to Ulster lost the general figures and the new one's not bad excellent glad to see that let's go ahead and assign him to the unit over here okay and then come on back excellent reinforce once this hits 40 which it should right now excellent I'm going for broke we're going after England's massive army Taking some penalties, and game over. We're going to lose. Ugh. I hate it when that happens. I got some good rolls. Our generals didn't matter much. We'll leave 40 behind to move some over here just to reinforce. Okay, and you know what, England, if you're just going to go off and siege things. Okay, won that battle, let's move on. Won that siege, I should say. If you're just going to run off and hide, then I'm going to start sieging stuff. I think. Mm -hmm. I think I've kind of got to stay grouped up for now. Come join them. Get in on this action. Can I get there soon enough to reinforce? I hope so. This is the problem, right? They, because they're so much more advanced than me, they got that extra tactics, they have more morale. So even my superior numbers aren't helping me. And that may have been my, my mistake here. I maybe should have waited until I had advanced my military tech a little bit more. Oh, and they're coming back, eh? They're gonna finish me off. What are my allies up to here? I have a huge death stack over there. Wait for my morale to recover. I'm probably just going to head kind of farther away from them. Come somewhere where maybe, oh, I was hoping I could get there and maybe the, thought maybe the Portuguese would have a better leader could help out the thing is it's 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 I'm kind of close like if my morale was just a little bit higher I might be able to pull off these battles you know um, yeah I was gonna say let me bring my Navy out to help my get my troops out of there but I don't think I can't right it's gonna take me too long to get there Even with better rolls, they're beating me. I mean, this isn't a better roll, but I had better rolls, and they were beating me because I just didn't have the... Uh, I just don't have the tactics. They have a, such a big tactics advantage. Hmm. So I thought this was going to be a piece of cake, but it looks like it's uh, it's turning out to not be a piece of cake at all. And they're just going to wipe out all my forces. Okay, so I'm going to start building a new army. Those guys are not going to last very long. Six. One, two. One, two. In fact, you guys. What's going on here? Why can't I select these guys? There's no point in joining them. They're just gonna die. 
I'm gonna go ahead and group. Select the army. Let's uh, consolidate regiments so that they'll all fit, and then see if I can get my morale up fast enough to retreat onto my boats. I don't think I will be able to, though. Nope. There we go. I think everybody's dead. Yeah, everybody's dead. Okay. Well, that was certainly uh, less than ideal. I do wonder, though, like, France... Oh, I see Austria jumped into this war. Are, um... Is France fighting two wars? Well... That's not helpful. I was relying on France to come to my aid. Hmm. How are things going over here? I uh, wouldn't siege there. I might as well keep moving then. Keep advancing. Colonies becoming self sustaining. Which idea is it that I have enough for? No. I'm still behind on military tech, so I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. I won that siege. Let's go get rid of those rebels, and then I'll come back here. Hmm, yeah. So the moral of the story here is don't forget to look at your uh, technology disadvantage before you declare war against a, a large nation. These numbers aren't going to save you necessarily. And don't trust your allies to help out, because apparently they're going to be busy fighting a war of their own. I don't know, like, what's uh, Spain doing? Are you fighting anywhere? Like, I see you building new armies, but where are your armies fighting? They're obviously not fighting in England. Uh, I have leaders to assign. I can assign some there. I can assign some here. Probably doesn't help that I was the attacker either. If I had 70,000 troops and I were to just kind of let them attack me, um, you know, where they're taking terrain penalties and crossing penalties and stuff, I, I might have that might have turned out differently. So the way I did it was certainly suboptimal as well. So big mistake there. Like I said, I'm not. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily classify myself as good at video games. I'm certainly not good at uh, European Universalis. I never would have accused myself of that. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. Just let me see. I know I'm at war. I have suffered casualties. There are revolts. So I'm not worried about that. New idea. I'm saving up for the tech. I don't have an advisor that I can really afford. Well, do I? Not when I have my military strength up. Uh, mission, create an army, let's do that one. And, uh, yeah, gonna need my money for other stuff. So we're all set now for the next episode where we're gonna see if we can turn this around, manage to come back and, uh, and beat England in a war. Right now it's not looking too good, but uh, as we reinforce and as France finishes their war with Austria, as Spain continues and Portugal continues to beef up their military and move in, uh, we just might be able to pull it out. But that'll be for next episode. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.